Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Street Smile Solutions, streetsmilesolutions.com, and today we're going to talk about Essex retainers, in-house Essex retainers. I have so much content on Essex by Vera's retainers. Matter of fact, it has its own playlist that's located on my homepage of my YouTube, and all our 4,000 plus education videos are totally free at this moment. I say that because they may not be someday, um, but at the moment they are, so enjoy them. And if you want to make Essex retainers, um, a lot of people asking what material should you make it from? And remember, Essex Retainers is a category. It's a brand. Essex is owned by um, Dentsply, I believe. It used to be owned by... Ah, I can't even remember. They, they've been bought out so many times. Raintree, I think it was. There was all different ones. But um, they are now owned by Dentsply. They own Essex. It is one brand of clear retainer material slash clear o-liner material depending on the thickness and the uh, biomaterials of how it's made whether it's elastomeric in nature but a traditional essex retainer in-house or or even if you're purchasing it from a lab is usually 040 now 040 is in inches i believe that equals one millimeter in the wonderful metric system which of course makes more sense that would be your traditional material someone asked me today about o about um half millimeter which would be 020 which no that's more like a bleaching tray material and i believe a liner material is usually 030 035 so a retainer is normally thicker within that subcategory there's all different types of essex you got essex ace essex c plus essex a plus so certain ones are better for bruxer certain ones are more clear certain ones are better for all liners. So i have other videos on that to access all my other essex materials videos or pontic videos for retainers um, you can go to my youtube site to get there go to yours put in the search bar street smile solutions they'll take you to mine which has a green banner um, scroll down there's about 10 to 12 playlists on the home page i believe retainers is more towards the bottom which is fitting because it's at the end um, of treatment but from there you can watch all the videos i have on everything retainers and hopefully it's helpful but yeah nothing wrong with doing in-house essex but 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 you need to have the proper equipment. If you are half-assing it and using vacuum formers instead of pressure formers like the Biostar or the Ministar, it will not be as adapted as well. And um, the Ministar and the Biostar is kind of expensive, so a lot of people don't have that. They just have their traditional vacuum former. I would never, ever use that. I'm not saying I haven't used it because we've all made that mistake, you know, when we first started out. But in hindsight now, I would never, never, never use it. Um, because it's just not as well adapted and now that I have kind of these eyes where I see things you know 10 20 30 years down the road I can see how regular Essex that's not made on a proper Biostar or Ministar won't adapt as well and it won't keep the teeth as straight now as a patient you're not going to know what it was made on because you don't have access to their lab so I think a good question for you to ask if you are a patient listening to this video is to ask your doctor if you're going through braces treatment or Invisalign treatment good question First of all, I'd ask, what's included with my treatment? Do you include retainers with my treatment? If they, most orthodontists are pretty upfront, you know, this is what's included, records, this, final records, retainers, one set retainers, more than one set retainers, Holly retainers, Essex retainers, Vivera retainers. What's included? How many retainers am I gonna need for a lifetime? You're gonna need way more than one set for a lifetime. So what's gonna be the cost if I need to replace them? Personally, my suggestion is get a couple sets up front because when it's time they need to replace them, it's more of an emergency and it's better to have a backup set sitting around. And I would switch it out after a year or two, you know, make it be nice and firm. That's why Invisalign Vivera comes in sets of four. That makes sense to me. And it's a very affordable uh, product. It's okay if your doctor is doing in-house Essex, but my question is, are they made professionally? You're not going to know by looking at it. So you could definitely ask and you could ask if you could see their lab. There's nothing wrong with that. You can ask if they're using Biostar or Ministar. The trim is a little less important than what it's made and how it's made. Um, but I've seen all kinds of junky retainers that are made in-house and a patient wouldn't know, right? So why spend two years or a year or two investing your time and money into straightening your teeth if the retainers are going to be made cheaply and subpar, right? So my suggestion is that patients ask for Vivera retainers by name just because the quality is really good. You know it's going to be made right. You know the quality's done right. You know it's going to fit right. 
So especially if you're using a scan to do it, just ask for that by name. If the doctor says, no, I don't do Vivera, then say, well, can I get them? How much is it gonna cost me? Because for me, even if I had to pay an extra 200 or $300, at least I know I'm getting a good quality product in a set of four, four uppers, four lowers, which should last me, should last me for a lifetime as long as I'm not losing them. So um, it's definitely worth the couple hundred dollar investment for me. All right, thanks so much.